So I was watching Ella May's Breakfast Club interview and her and Charlemagne both talked about the decrease in emotional intelligence. And here's what I was thinking. I was like, do people really even know what emotional intelligence is? So I'm going to tell you, if you watched any of my videos before, you've heard me talk about this plenty of times. There are four different elements when it comes to emotional intelligence. One is self-awareness, right? That's being able to know yourself, your thoughts, your feelings, but we can't stop there. The next piece is self-management. A lot of people know themselves, but they don't know how to manage what they know. So it's not enough for you to say, oh, I know that I have anger problems. I know I do this. I know my feelings. I know myself well, but if you can't manage yourself well that's where the problems or issues or the lack of right habits or constructive habit development comes into play because you can't manage what you know once you're able to have self-awareness and then you have self-management the next piece comes into social awareness now social awareness is just how it sounds, right? You are able to go into a space and you're able to watch and see how other people move. You kind of use discernment. You use your self-awareness to be able to see how you impact others. One thing that I like to say is our energy precedes us. So you're able to pick up on other people's energies. This is something that empaths do really well, I think as well. And so social awareness allows you to enter into a space, understand how you enter and watch how other people move. The next piece to that is the fourth one and that's relationship management so now that you have your self-awareness you have your self-management then you have your social awareness when you enter spaces you're now figuring out how do i manage my relationships with other people so when lma and charlemagne are talking about that's kind of rhyme lma charlemagne anyways when they're talking about a decrease in emotional intelligence they're talking about people's ability to not be able to manage their self awareness not be able to manage their relationship management because of their they talked about communication and purely just understanding so here's my question to you is where do you feel like you fall in your emotional intelligence? Do you feel like you are intentional about growing your emotional intelligence? Do you feel like you're like, I'm really self-aware, but I have a hard time managing it or managing it? Do you feel like I'm really good in social awareness, but I have a hard time with relationship management? So if this is something that you feel like you struggle with, what's dope is I'm actually, um, I actually do some coaching, confidence coaching when it comes to emotional intelligence growth. So if you'd like to have some coaching, hit me up and we could talk about how you can go from being self-aware to managing that self-awareness to also getting to your social awareness and relationship management that allows you to live out your purposeful confidence. But before we get into all that, I want to talk about it in the comments. Listen to the interview if you get a chance or are you even familiar with emotional intelligence? The other dope part that I'm going to tell you before this is over is you can actually grow your emotional intelligence. It's not like IQ. It's not stagnant. This is something you can invest in and I highly encourage you to invest in this. Let's simply have the conversation in the chat. Remember you're worthy.